This is Texas Martial Arts. My name is Mr. Olson. And I'm Mr. Gonzalez. And this is your kicking it on vacation video for week six because you're on vacation. And you still need to train. Now guys, we're over halfway through our summer program. And what's awesome is we're getting so many of the activity sheets back from you guys. We're getting all sorts of coloring sheets. Um, we're getting some really cool videos of you guys training in different locations and doing all sorts of awesome things for the summer. So keep those up, keep those coming. We love seeing those. Now for this week, we're actually covering a technique that's really great. It's called a switch kick. Now what that's gonna involve is it's a variation on your round kick. So you get repetitions of the round kick, but you also learn how to deploy it in a way that is kind of sneaky and it's really meant for um, sparring and also fighting applications, so self-defense applications. So it's gonna be an amazing, amazing class. And we're gonna get going right now. Okay guys, now we're gonna do the warm up for this week. Now. The technique that we're gonna do for the warm up is just called a switch step. Now, it's not the switch jump that you guys have done before. So, that usually looks like this, where your knees come all the way up. This is gonna be a little bit different because what we're doing is setting up a kick, not trying to get over an attack. So, what we're gonna do here is you get into your straddle stance. And then for your switch step, all you're doing is you're literally just moving your feet so that your feet switch positions. So, instead of facing this direction, I switch and I face the other direction. Now, the one other thing that I want you guys to do when you're doing this technique is you still wanna be looking straight ahead at your target. You still wanna have your hands up. So we're gonna do a couple of these and then we're gonna actually add to it to make the full warm up. So just to start off with, with the hands up, I'm here, we switch and I'm still here. I'm looking straight ahead with my hands up, protecting my head. Switch, ready and switch. Good, switch and switch. Okay, now, in addition to just the basic switching, what I want you to add to that is we're gonna add a back fist. So the way that this is gonna work is I want you to get into your sparring stance, start bending your knees, make sure you got some bounce, and then go ahead and take your front hand. You're gonna point your elbow out. This hand is gonna come up to your ear. It's gonna come out. When your hand is out, that's when you're gonna throw your switch. So from here, it's gonna look like this. Elbow up, point out, switch. Then you got the exact same thing on the other side. Elbow out, point, switch. Elbow out, point, out, switch. Elbow up, out, switch. Elbow up, out, switch. Elbow up, out, switch. And elbow up, out, switch. Okay, now, I want you guys to do that 10 times. That'll be your warm up for today. Okay guys, now for the lesson, we're gonna actually move in and start working on the full switch kick. So the way that this is gonna work is go ahead and get into your sparring stance. And just like we were doing for the warm up, where we switched places, you're gonna always set up with a switch first. So it's here, I switch sides. And then now that you've switched sides, you've got some momentum going in a forward direction. So you can follow it up by taking that back leg kick. So right now my left is my back leg and it's gonna come through and do a round kick. All right, so that's the way that you do a switch kick. All right, if we speed that up a little bit, it's gonna look like this. So I switch and kick, all right? And then you wanna set it down in front. That's the switch kick, and we'll work that into a combination here in just a second. Okay guys, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start working that kick into a sparring combination. Now the real power of this in a combination is that when I'm sparring with Tony and we have our hands up, well, he can block a lot of the things that I'm doing and he's expecting a lot of the things that I may be doing, but this kind of fakes him out and it causes me to have a lot of momentum moving forward. So we're gonna start off with, the combination is gonna be front leg, round kick. I'm gonna set that down and then I'm gonna do a back fist. All this back fist is meant to do is to create a distraction because if Tony is focused on my hand that's up here with the back fist, then he's not gonna be focused on my switch kick that's gonna hit him in the stomach. All right, so here is the back fist, and then I'm gonna immediately switch. And then as soon as I switch, I come right back with that round kick to the stomach. All right, so that's the entire drill that we're gonna be doing for the combination for today. So again, it's gonna look like this. Front leg round kick to the gut, back fist to the head to get him to raise his hand, switch and kick to the gut. All right, that's the full combination, guys. Let's try it out. Okay guys, now what I've had Tony do is go ahead and put on his sparring gear. Now, as we're incorporating this into your training, 
What's really important is that you guys actually start using this when you're sparring because the advantage is that if Tony didn't have his sparring gear on, we can't really make any contact. But with his sparring gear on, now if Tony does a back fist and he hits right here, right, go ahead and tap. Good, if Tony hits, it's not gonna really do any damage because it's nice and padded. All right, so it gives him the benefit of being able to get much closer without the worry of accidentally hitting them. All right, so it's super important when you guys start getting to that level and your instructor says that you need the gear, that you start training it, all right? Now, for this combination, again, Tony's gonna come up, he's gonna do a front leg round kick, he's gonna tap. Good, from here, he can throw that back fist and then he immediately switches and kicks again, all right? And as you can see, he can make, you know, kind of medium level contact without hurting me because he's got the sparring gear on. So again, speeding up a little bit, round kick, back fist, switch, kick. All right, that's the entire combination, guys. Now, I'm gonna have Tony demonstrate that five times on each side. Okay guys, now the activity for this week is gonna be a ton of fun. What we're actually doing is we're gonna work on the switch kick, but we're gonna make it kind of a, a silly version of it. So what we're gonna start off with is, uh, I have a hand target here. If you guys don't have your hand targets with you, that's okay, you can do this without it. You can again use either a, a piece of paper or a folder or something like that that your partner can kick. But uh, what I'd like to see is, so what Tony's gonna do is I'm gonna call the number of times that I want him to switch before he throws the kick. So if I say one, then he's just gonna switch one time and he's gonna kick, good. But if I say two, he's gonna switch two times and then kick, all right? So you wanna start off easy and say one, two, ready, three, good. But then you're gonna make it harder and we're gonna do four, five, and six, ready, four. Good, five. Good. Sorry. It's okay, it happens, all right? If you make a mistake, guys, there's nothing wrong with making mistakes. Even martial artists make mistakes, he can't count to five. So you guys are probably ahead of him in that. All right, so ready? Do five again. Ready, go five. One, two, three, four, five, kick. There you go, perfect. Now, once you have down the basic drill with the different numbers, I want you guys to go up to at least six, right? If you can get up to six, then you've got a really good grasp on it. Now, I've been doing the same height on every single kick. I've just been turning my hand depending on which direction the kick is gonna come from. The next scenario on this is, once they have down the basic switching, I want you guys to make it harder for them and switch levels. So now, it's down here, ready? And two. Good, ready, five. Good, ready, three. Good, one, good, ready, two, perfect. So guys, that's the technique for this week. As you're going back and forth and doing the, uh, doing the combinations on the switching, um, I want you guys to make sure that you're not using a whole bunch of power, right? If you go really slow and really, you know, use as much power as you can, well, it's gonna make your technique less effective. The best way to do any of these techniques is to relax and try and go for speed not so much for power. If you can get the speed down, it's easy to add the power later, but it's not easy to add speed later once you've got bad habits. So focus on getting it super fast and having a lot of fun with it. And that's everything for this week, guys. All right, guys, that is everything for this week. We hope you have a great time. Now, I want you guys to focus on for your uh, homework for this week. Make sure you're doing that sparring combination 10 times. That means five on the left and five on the right. Um, when you're posting those, I know most of you guys aren't posting them to the Facebook group, and you're sending them to us directly, that is completely fine. 
keep doing that, or you can post them to the Facebook group. Um, other than that, we love seeing the coloring sheets you guys are submitting. We're getting some really awesome submissions on those along with the activity sheets. So keep all of those coming. We look forward to seeing you guys when you get back from vacation soon. Have a great week.